Mr. Wild is having a lie down. And we always want to come say hello to our horses when they're lying down. <laughs> He's wondering, what's up, man? What are you doing? Hello, big guy. How's it going? This looks looks like a camera again. What's with that? He's such a sweetie. He's uh, usually quite tolerant of me chilling out with him. Oh. What's he yelling at Annie for? Annie's talking. She made a noise, just a little noise. Mr. Shedding Lots. A little relaxation. Just a friendly reminder. You got your horse on the ground like this, they're just laying down. Come hang out with them. Let them know it's a nice, safe situation. And uh, they can continue to just chill out. <laughs> When she wants something, she'll play with the fence, like that. She's so goofy. It's cute. She says, come over and scratch me. Hey, big guy. How about the other side of your face? He says, it's too much. Just this side. Ears. Yeah, ears are good. Breathing is interesting. Very unusual. Oh, look at my hand. Very unusual for a horse to be groomed by another horse on the ground. So doing stuff like this it kind of sets up, you know, a completely different relationship, obviously, than um, a horse with another horse would. <laughs> what a goofball. He's so playful. It's not a good thing. Don't, don't do this a lot, but if you're used to your horse and you think you can play a little, you could probably try a little. But either way, grooming them on the ground is, is going to be a human horse thing only. Horses don't groom other horses, and horses that are on the ground uh, don't let. Good Annie. He says, scratch me. <laughs> I'll go over to her next, hang out with her a bit. Anyhow, Mr. Wild having a little relaxing break. Good to practice these things all the time.